Hi, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Norm, it's app of the day. Today's app? App. Cinemagram. Wow, that's a lot of grams. How many grams in a cinemagram? Oh, oh, you're doing math now? I get the joke. Science. Hey, Santa. Science. No, I was thinking cinnamon graham crackers. Really? That's where you're going to go with this? Delicious cinemagram cereal. Norman Chan, what does cinemagram do? Cinemagram is an application that lets you make animated GIFs. GIFs. You mean GIFs. No, GIFs. Oh, you mean, oh, you GIFs. mean GIFs. Uh, and it actually looks a lot like Instagram, which you may have used on your yeah. iPhone. It's to take those filtered photos. This, you take video and turn it into a GIF. The reason it's a cinemagram, though, mm -hmm. is that parts of the image stay static, while some, usually some small area moves, yes. right? So are you making a video, a cinemagram of me right now? No, no, I'm demoing oh, okay. uh, other people's cinemagrams. You're showing good cinemagrams. Potentially good ones. They're not really, not all of them are that great. Like so, so part of the cinemagram thing is that there's a service where you can upload your completed cinemagrams to the internet to share with other people. Yep. Um, I thought that most of the ones that they're profiling are pretty good. Yeah, the if popular you, ones. If you dig down, it gets a little gnarly, but some of them are frankly terrifying. Yeah, um, a lot, lot of like shifting eyes. Yeah. Um, and a lot of blinking. Like eyes and, rotating out of sync with each other and yeah. bad so, things, man. To create your own, uh, it's like shooting a video. Yeah. And uh, you press the middle button right now. So for example, I will Are you shooting press, a video? I'm shooting a video. So it's of you right now. And I'm gonna click record. It's recording. You're moving your eyeballs. All right, so I've captured a video of you and I've uh, cropped it, cut it, to be the right length. Basically, it can't be too long. Right, so less than like two seconds, it seems like, maybe yep. three. I'm saving the video, it'll trim it, and then what you can do then is pick the parts of the video that you want to stay s moving and pick the rest of it stays static. So what? So is where you're highlighting with your finger what stays moving? What stays or what moving. stays static? What, what moves. Okay. So I could uh, tap and hold, and I can, for example, draw your, your eyeball area. Seems this like a video, good thing to have it looks moving. terrifying. Good, and, perfect. And then uh, pick some uh, filter so you can do like Instagram style vintage filter. That's bad, don't do that. Uh, I'm gonna keep it raw. And then there it goes, oh my God. Your eyes are totally moving. That is the most basic cinemagram. Everybody does that. Cinemagraph, I guess these are technically called, yeah. that you could make. Yes, yeah, so the people who actually spend time with it, a couple of things we learned, you really need a tripod in order yeah. to make something that looks good. Right, um, so we tested one earlier where we actually tried some fancy you know, movement yeah. techniques where you're- I tried you know, to drop a ball and catch it and make it look like the ball was hovering just in my hand and bouncing up and down. Didn't, didn't work. At all, no. not, not, that, not that well. Well, the frame rate on the camera is too low, um, so you, you want to shoot with something a little bit more high speed. You could theoretically shoot with a high speed camera and then import that into your yep. camera, camera library, roll. Yep. and then import it to Cinemagram from there. Uh, but basically, this is the easiest way I've found to make uh, basic Cinemagrams, which I think is pretty cool. It is it very simple phone. to use if you spend a bunch of time with it, because you can zoom in the, the images yeah. relatively close and just crop out very with very fine detail the parts that you want to stay moving. Uh, if you spend a lot of time, you can get really good results. Well, and if you spend the money on something like a tripod for your iPhone, then this gives you a way to get more out of that uh, investment. So, uh, Cinemagram, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye.